Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is your host, JC, Everyday Thoughts. Everyone gathering around should be a good one today. That's your life coach, your motivational speaker, a man of God, a husband, and a brand new father. So I'm to my wife and I. Daytime begins. A man tells you his intentions early on, and you overlook them, blame yourself. My thing is, I'm big on honor, big on integrity as far as men. As far as just being the right thing, being upfront with women, you know, tell them upfront what your intentions are, whether it's to marry, whether to have a good time, to have a friend to benefit, whatever your whatever your core values are at the moment, wherever your stage of life you're at right now, as a person, that's one thing I'm kind of big on. So that being said, if a man comes to you saying, Hey, I wanna have a good time, I wanna have friends with benefit, I just want, you know, I just wanna have a good time, I just wanna have sex when I stand, then you override your own personal values. Like, hey, your personal values may be, oh, hey, I just want to, I want to have, want to be married, I want to have kids, etc. But he's telling you, hey, I just want to have a good time. One thing, and you got you, you go along with that. What's going to happen is you guys are going to end up having sex, and he's probably going to lead after the sex. Why? Because he told you up front. And not just necessarily say that. It always ends that way because that's something that you guys can negotiate down the road sometimes because you guys may be in a situation where you guys may both want have sex may want to go one night stand and that end up turning into a relationship or possibly even a marriage so they would have to be very mindful very uh cognizant of whatever you're looking for it all starts within yourself as far as what you're looking for as far as your core values meaning you have to know yourself before you go out here and try to date or before you try to live up, live under someone, whether it's man or female. You got to know what you want and what you're looking for. And that being said, though, don't be thinking, you know, you being a woman, oh, I got value. I have have this golden thing between my legs. Like, I mean, he's going to automatically fall in love with me. He's going to automatically want to commit with me, automatically have want to have my baby. No, that's not, that doesn't really work itself out. Especially then with a man who just likes to will and deal, you know, from one woman to the next one, we may have a whole bunch of baby mamas. And, you know, he may he may feel like, okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna just tell him I'm I'm gonna give him what what I have between my legs, he gonna fall instantly fall in love, etc. But guess what? Nine ten nine out of ten times, a woman that he's already been dating or invested in, they all thought the same way. And guess what? You got children about that man. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing you got to be uh, mindful of and conscious of as a woman when you're going out here dating. When you actually get a man that's truthfully to himself, like, look, I'm not looking for a relationship. I just want to have a good time. My thing is, me personally, that's not for me. Obviously, I want a marriage. Obviously, I wanted a family. Obviously, I'm a family man. Obviously, I'm a godly man. But my thing is, that's not how the world is. How my view may be different than the next person views, and that's okay. Because this type of platform, it's not like it's a judge, judgment based. Meaning, you free so far as have your own opinion, your own thoughts. That's cool. But just trying to find someone that aligns with your vision as far as what you're trying to accomplish. So that being said, that's all I really, that's all I really got to say as far as the situation is that. You know, don't don't overlook as far as what a man's telling you. You know, don't like uh, R.C. Blake would say, never ignore a man's energy. You know, you got to try to see what you got both one out of the situation. If you're talking about marriage, he and he's just like, look, I just want to have a good time. That's it. I don't want nothing to do with you. And man, you're okay with that. You go with it, and he ends up leaving. And gotta blame yourself. You know, because there's too many times you can spring a man on the phone, video chat, way before you even get on a date to try to see what a man's intentions are. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of men, they can put it on the facade, but you gotta realize the mask come off. You know what I'm saying? So it's only so much, it's almost so much lies a man can tell. And especially you women that have brothers, you have uh, a fathers, stepfathers, trust me, they should tell you the game point blank a man trying to pull something over you so you do have to be very conscious of that very decide the decisiveness of that and that's the thing as as women like i said sometimes you gotta figure out too late oh my gosh you guys have said oh he don't want to be dealing with me 
And the man told you up front. I mean, you knew what type of guy he was, but you overlooked the red flag. So you gotta blame yourself. You know what I'm saying? Get on the guys a lot. But like I said, it's about being, you know, being fair as far as fair play. Woman, like I said, you got out of line. Look, I'm gonna call it out. Like my, like my dad would say, you got called a spade a spade. So that's all I really have to say. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But yeah, that's all I got to say. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. Until next time, I'm out. JC, everybody thoughts.